What is the Bain online test, also known as the Bain Solva test? What exactly does it look like and how do you pass it? You'll find out by the end of this video. Nice. So the Bain Solva test is an aptitude test that Bain uses to see how you assess and make decisions under different situations and under new information. It's similar to a standardized test like the GMAT, but instead of having all the same types of questions in the same section, the questions are mixed up across sections. And you're likely to encounter the Solva test if you're applying from Europe or Asia, and this is typically done after your resume has been screened and before you have your actual interview. Well, this is very exciting. If you've ever taken a standardized test like the GMAT, you'll understand exactly what I mean by this. If you're curious where the name Silva comes from, it's because the parent company, the company that created the test, is named Silva. So what exactly does the Silva test look like? Well, there's good news and bad news. So the good news is that there's no time limit. So you can take as much time as you need. The bad news is that even though there's no time limit, you're still gonna be judged based on your speed and your accuracy. Based on this good and bad news, I have two recommendations for you. First off is you wanna aim to answer these questions in about 40 to 50 seconds each. And second, because it's online, you can actually have paper, pen, and a calculator with you. In fact, at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you more tips about how to prepare. But first, let's talk about exactly what's gonna be on the test. You're gonna be tested on five things. The first thing is situational judgment. This is gonna evaluate how you react to certain situations. Here, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be given either text, video, an image, or even an animation, and you're gonna be asked to select the most effective and the least effective based on the list that's provided. Here's some of my advice for the situational judgment questions. First, you wanna base your answers only on the information that's provided in the prompt. So you wanna definitely remove any biases you might have from previous experience or even assumptions. So definitely make sure that you're only using the information provided. Second, you wanna go on the Bain website and review the Bain values before you take the test. The reason I recommend this is that if at any point you're unsure about which multiple choice answer to choose the one that best aligns with Bain's values and away from the ones that do not. For example, one of Bain's values is one team. It means that Bain globally treats every single person as part of a team. So if there's a question about whether you should help a teammate, the answer should almost always be yes, unless there are mitigating circumstances. For example, you would miss your own deadlines by helping a teammate and there's another teammate who could help that person instead. The second type of questions you'll encounter are numerical reasoning questions. These numerical reasoning questions will evaluate how quickly and accurately you can answer questions when it comes to working with numbers. You're going to be shown numbers in the form of an exhibit. Usually it's a table or a chart, for example, a line graph, and you'll have to use that line graph or exhibit to answer the question, which will be a multiple choice with four options. The most common questions you're going to encounter are all related to business math, which include market share, profit margin, and break-even analysis. Here are my tips if you encounter numerical reasoning questions. First, you want to make sure your business math skills are strong. I'll provide some resources at the end of this video. Second, if you're struggling to reach one of the for provided answers, what you can do is instead use a process of elimination and remove the ones that cannot be right. If you do encounter a question that you're struggling with, use process of elimination. Think about what answers it could not be, and that will increase your chances of picking the right answer from the remaining choices. The third type of question that you encounter are verbal reasoning questions. Verbal reasoning questions evaluate how quickly you can draw conclusions based on verbal and written information. For these questions, you're gonna be provided text in a form of passages that are typically one or two paragraphs long. You'll be asked to determine whether the statement is true, false, or cannot say based on the limited information provided. Here's my tip for the verbal reasoning. You'll wanna read the questions before you read the text so you know what you're looking for in the passage. That way you can find the answers more quickly. So again, when you get the questions and the passage, read the questions first. The fourth type of question you encounter are logical reasoning questions. As the name implies, these type of questions will test your logical reasoning skills. The type of questions you're gonna encounter here are pattern recognition problems, where you're gonna be given a sequence of, let's say numbers or figures, and you're gonna have to figure out what the logical sequence is and how the sequence came together. And then you'll have to determine which figure or number would come next in the sequence out of the options provided. So my advice for this is that if you're not very strong on your pattern recognition or your logical thinking, pick up an LSAT book and go directly to the logical reasoning question. Those questions are actually really similar to what the Silva test will evaluate you on. The final kind of questions that you'll encounter on the Silva test are personality questionnaires. The good news here is that there's no wrong answer and Bain is just trying to understand your behavioral preferences. You're going to be given a series of statements and then be asked to respond to each statement with a rating of one to five, ranging from most like me to least like me. My advice is this, while there is no wrong answer, there are certain answers that are better than others. And you can find out what these answers are by doing two things. First, you wanna understand what exactly consultants do day to day and how your personality type might fit into this day to day. The good news is I do cover this in another video about what it's like to work as a consultant. I'll link that below in the description. The second advice I have is similar to what I gave during the situational judgment, which is you wanna to go to the Bain website and read up on the Bain values. That way, you know exactly what Bain is looking for. All right, so now that you know the five types of questions you're gonna encounter in the Bain Silva test, so here's my advice for how to prepare. First off, most of the questions are very similar to standardized tests, so it's very easy to come prepared. 
Many of the questions you encounter will mimic the type of questions you'll encounter in the GMAT as well as the LSAT test. So what I recommend is buying an LSAT and GMAT book and practicing the types of questions you're going to encounter. With the GMAT, it is the integrated reasoning as well as quantitative reasoning ones. And because this is a standardized test, I'll link to the ones I recommend below. With the GMAT book in particular, you want to focus on two sections. You want to focus on one, the quantitative reasoning questions, and second, the integrated reasoning questions. Go through each of those, figure out which ones you're weak at, and double down on those. So if you already have a strength in an area and limited time, focus on the areas where you're weakest. So for example, if you're weak on the integrated reasoning, practice more integrated reasoning questions. One other tip that I also want to share is that you only get one shot at this. So there's no going back and redoing it. So as a result, I want to make sure the following is true. First, make sure you read the question before you start answering. Second, as I mentioned earlier, this is online. So you can have a calculator, a paper and a pen ready. So you want to make sure that your space already has these. You're not wasting time running around your room trying to find a pen or a calculator at the last moment. Third, as I mentioned earlier, you definitely want to go to the Bain website and read up on the values. This is very easy to do and you literally could do this in your community mute or right before bed. Just make sure you read these. And speaking of bed, make a good night's sleep because if your brain is not 100% functioning when you take the test, you're going to make mistakes. And assuming that you have a really nice sleep, one thing you want to do is make sure that you have a quiet space to work in. So find a space where you're not going to be distracted. There's no noise. The Wi-Fi is good. And you know you can focus on the test because, again, you only get one shot at this. So I want to make sure you pass it. If you take all the advice I just listed, you're going to be a lot closer to passing the Bain Silva and one step closer to your Bain offer. So in this video, I covered how to pass the Bain Silva. But if you want an additional advantage, I want to share two things. First off, if you want more advice on how to pass these online assessments like the Bain Silva, if you comment below in the YouTube video Bain Silva, I'll go ahead and send you a message where you can find more resources on the Bain Silva. Second, if you're 100% serious about becoming a management consultant, I'd love to help you. Here at my consulting offer, my team and I are made up of former Bain, McKinsey, and BCG recruiters, interviewers, and consultants. And all we do is we help people get jobs at management consulting at firms like Bain. In fact, we've helped over 700 people get their jobs at management consulting firms like Bain. And we've done this at an 89.6% success rate. And I'd love for you to be our next success story. To see if you'd be a great fit for our program, you can click the link below and book a free session with my team. And on this session, we're gonna walk through everything you need to know to get your Bain offer. And at the end of the free call, and if it's a good fit, my team will share a little bit more about how we can work together. And if it's not a good fit, we'll make sure to point you in the right direction. As I mentioned today, we've helped over 700 people start a career in management consulting, and they've come from all different types of backgrounds, from flight attendants to bartenders to even a football coach. And we've done this at a 90% success rate, but you don't have to take my word for it. Hear from Bobby, whose dream job was to work at Bain and his journey from being worried about if he could even pass an online assessment or pass a case interview to ultimately landing an offer at Bain. I'll include Bobby's video somewhere above my head so you can go in and hear his story. I'll see you in the next video.